Y'all, so I'm at Target. I got my nephew a gift. And I got my feminine products based on deodorant. And I got a shapewear. I hope that this will work with my thickness and my legs. <laughs> Thick thighs, you know, merging together under a dress. So I hope that's going to give me that snatch look. That's what I'm going for. And you know that struggle in Target when you done found all the stuff for yourself and you have to now remember that you came here to do last minute Christmas shopping for other people? Yeah, that's the dilemma that I'm in right now. So y'all wish me luck because I still need to finish shopping for my parents. And I don't know what else to get them. So let's see. Y'all, I am geeked. I just finally, I bought this one Black Friday and just now I'm getting here. But I finally got the FAMU Letterman jacket in the mail that I bought from the Be Great shop from Kate the Great. She has an awesome business. Oh my God! That Rattler swag though. Ooh, I can't wait to wear this for y'all. I think I'm gonna wear it on Christmas just to show out and take some pictures. Oh, it's so cute. It's, oh, I want y'all to see my messy one. It's so cute. Oh, gee, I can't wait to put it on. I'm gonna need to hurry up. We are just powdering up the face. Powdering up the face. Using that lower Mercier medium deep. Now I can't wait for y'all to see how my new shaper that I got from Target just like snatched my whole waist. It's like, this is what I didn't know I needed. Oh. I be in denial about what size I am, honey. Like, <laughs> I be in denial. I'll see the finished product in just a second. <laughs> it's a video, you're my vlog. Hey, hey, you look so good. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> I like that. You're good, you're good. You like your gift? You like your gift? Yeah. You like it. Hey, yeah, you like your new Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some detect, detect, <laughs> detox cleanse kit. I like that. I like that. I like that. Can we turn the TV down? Ooh, I'm going to wear this. Puma hat with the rose gold. Oh wow, I like that. I like the details. I would for sure wear that. Ooh, y'all knew my style. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. No, I need another one, so this is perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. No. Mm -mm. No, it's not supposed to adjust it. You can cut that off. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. 
Got a Ulta gift card. Okay, so I get three cards. Oh wow! Well, definitely use that. Fifty-five, I guess. Ooh, a family shirt. I gotta show you the family jacket I just got in the middle. Family jacket. Online with this girl. Yes, because I need more family attire. Yeah, and the material feels good. Ooh, apple cider vinegar. I did. I was gonna get this from um, Whole Foods. Very thoughtful. This is yes. I need makeup wipes. Y'all getting all the stuff I need. Look at y'all being real thoughtful this year. Thoughtful this year. Okay, we got a belt. I can use that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can wear it. I can wear it. I can wear it. I can wear that. Ooh, perfume. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me. Let me. Yes, I appreciate it all. Thank you, parentals. Appreciate you. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. Why y'all keep giving Starbucks all of our money? <laughs> you keep giving everything. <laughs> So now you don't have to be spending your money. All right. Let's see here. A hoodie. A hoodie? Yeah. yeah. Now that would look yeah. nice on there. Well. Put it over your shirt. Right here. Mm -hmm. With this. Yeah, I hope you can fit it. It's a large. This shirt. Yeah, it's a large. Over your shirt. This? Uh-huh. No, but. It's a large. It's a large. Mm. You ain't try your stuff on. Not yet. All right, mommy, I got you a little bit more stuff, but you probably don't need them. <laughs> what? Ooh, they look like your stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, but I want you to try it on. Was it wrong? No, it's for like a dressy um throw throw on, like go on top or something. Casual dressing. Yeah. Get up, mommy, so you can. Wait, well, baby, let me eat my food. I want you to try it on so you can see. Okay, it. I will. Oh. Yes. Yes, mommy. Yes. So wearing with jeans. Yeah, all kind of stuff. But it give you a little platform too. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. Christmas, Uncle Rob, we miss you. We miss you. I miss your Christmas cards. I miss your Best Buy gift cards. I love you. Rest in eternal peace. An old, old Christmas picture. I was a lot skinnier then. <laughs> this is a Santa who clearly got some sugar in his tank. But he fresh, y'all. He is fresh.
Quilla. Hey, grandmother. Hey, Queen Quilla. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Hey. We miss we miss hey, being uh, in, in the spot. Harry talking about or to my man, that, that Thanksgiving was just too short, man. We had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Break every curse in the name of Jesus, God. Lord. We thank you, God, for the bright future. God, we thank you. You have just been so, so good to us. Thank you for mother. 95, close to 96 years. Almost 96, God. wow. What a blessing, God. What a blessing. You said, Lord, that her children, that her children will call her blessed, will raise up and call her blessed. And so we are calling her a blessed, a blessed person, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for allowing us the strength to even serve her. It's an honor, God, Lord, yeah, to serve her, honor. God. And, and so, Father, continue to strengthen us, Lord, physically, mentally, and emotionally, God, that we will be able, God, to do what you called us to do. We thank you again for coming to this earth, God. Love came to earth. Yes. Lord, when you were born, God. Yes. And so for that, we're better. Thank you, Lord. For that, we have eternal life. And so we yes. accept you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen. Pastor. Amen. Amen, right Pastor. Now. Don't that look good? Yes. Making a recipe with bourbon. Uh, was it maple syrup? And what else? What Walnut. else, Mama? Walnuts. Ooh, that looks pretty. What else, Mama? Green onion. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Ooh. What else? What else in it, Mom? Um, let's see. You have a maple syrup. Maple syrup. Mmm, that looks good. It is Christmas Day, y'all. I can't believe that we're here. It is Christmas 2021, and your girl just last minute put on some makeup, some cute little clothes from Ivy Park. I love this new line of hers. And yeah, I'm just gonna take some pictures. I probably have less than 10 minutes before the sun goes down. So let's get started. It's Christmas.
But these are all steps. <laughs> <laughs> You can have different ones and it will change the you know, uh, Let me see this. <laughs> you gotta put it in your face, so give me some light. Yeah, yeah. alright, here we go. Yeah. All right. You can come back in 15 minutes. Hey y'all, it is Sunday, the day after Christmas, and so far it's been a great Sunday. I can't even complain. I did the pre-show at church all by myself, so that was very exciting, very different. I like that. And Sunday right now, I don't really want to eat out. I spent hours in the kitchen with my mom yesterday on Christmas cooking seafood lasagna, so that is what I'm going to eat. I'm going to find a good show to watch. I'm going to get a good nap. And just plan my week. I believe that this last week of the year is going to be the most legendary week of 2021. So I'm just preparing my heart and my spirit for that. I like my just thoughts about Christmas this year. I just wanted to share it um, before we continue with the vlog or the last day of the vlog. Is I'm just like... I'm so, and it was all confirmation of the word that I received from Dr. Tracy Lynn in church today. Um, but I am just wanting to expand my thinking, expand the frame of my mind. I really just don't want to stay in this small, safe um, mentality that I've held on to for so many years. I really just want to operate in a spirit of expansion and a spirit of increase and a spirit of like, God, you have created me. You built me to do big things, to live in big environments, to be able to cultivate big dreams, even with the people around me. So it's like when I'm encouraging people that that's the the word over their life, it's like I'm not activating that same word in my life. I don't need more in order for God to move. And that's a word for you that a lot of times you're waiting to get more money in your savings. You're waiting to be able to invest this big amount. And God is saying, no, I just want you to move with a little, move with the $5 in the bank account, move with just the creative abilities that you have right now in your mind and expand on that. And in a very short amount of time, increase is knocking at your door. It's just that level of small faith, that baby faith that I read about in Mike Todd's book that, you know, that I really just have to, like, move out of. I really have to because it's crippling me. It's, it's holding me back, you know, and I don't want to step into 2022 
scared of my potential, scared of my purpose, scared of all the things that I know God has prepared for me, that he's been preparing me for year after year. Like, I know he's about to do something major in me. I really don't feel worthy sometimes of this calling, of this anointing that I know is just it's like burning on the inside of me. And people just come to me and they encourage me and they tell me how beautiful I am and how much they love, you know, me speaking at church and, you know, people on Instagram telling me, you know, how much I encourage them. And that feels good, you know, to know that you can make an impact on someone. But it's also scary to know that like, wow, so many people see something in you and you haven't even fully, you know, gotten to the destination where you can see what they see. But that's okay. God is going to use strangers to come into your midst to remind you that you matter. You matter to this world. You matter to the people you don't know. <laughs> you matter to so many people. And anytime you feel worthless, anytime you feel like, God, I'm just a bum, I'm a lame, like I'm not doing anything with my time on the earth. Like anytime you feel like that, God will use strangers. He'll use people who will see greater in you than you see in yourself. And there's a reason for that. So, cause there's so many times that I see greater in other people and I'm like, I hope, I wish you could see what I see, you know, even with my boyfriend, like, you know, he'll see this. Um, but there's, there's just so much greatness I see in him, you know, and I know that God allowed me to have that vision for a special reason, but there's a lot of greatness that I see in him that I'm like, whoa, whoa. When he taps into it, like fully, you know, it's just going to be major, you know, it's going to be major, 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 major. So I get excited when I can see vision in other people. So when God allows stranger to see the same thing in me, it's him reminding the one that he anointed to say, I know you're encouraging a lot of people, but I'm going to send people near and far to not only bless you verbally, but to bless you substantially, physically, monetarily. Happy Sunday. Hey y'all, as we're about to end the vlog, I'm about to do a little skincare routine. This will be the first time using this new steamer that I bought myself for Christmas, my Christmas gift to myself. I've been one and one and I've seen it in Sam's and I said, gotta have it. And we end in this Christmas weekend with some good skincare, okay? Cause your girl been putting on quite a bit of makeup these last few days. So we need to just drain everything out. So just, you know, catch a vibe and you can do your skincare routine right along with me. So the first thing is I'm going to, I already did one wipe already. I'll do the second wipe of this tea tree body prescriptions makeup wipes. I just got for Christmas from the parentals. So we're gonna use that. It's pretty good, never had it before. It actually smells like baby products. That's how good it smells. I'm not a big fan of makeup wipes. So I think sometimes they can make you break out, but I like the ones that have like good ingredients in it. Ew, that's so gross. It'd be amazing to you how much makeup just be living inside your skin. And every time you think you washed it all good, it's more in there, okay? So next up is the face wash. I have been loving Lori Harvey's skincare line, like loving it. So we're gonna use this Goji Berry Cleanser. I'm almost done with this bottle. I've already ordered the next bottle. I have an obsession with trying new skincare, okay? So this is almost done. And we just lather it all up. Let's start with the eyes first. The chin. Pat, try not to smudge the skin.
I think I want to go in with one more layer of face wash. This is the new bottle. Like so. Mm. And we're going to use some Lori Harvey's Skin SK Inline White Tea Toner. I pretty much got everything in this line except for the serum. I was being cheap and I was like, I don't need that. I got serums. But I might just go ahead and finish the collection and get the, the toner. That's, that's the only thing I'm missing. It's like a spray toner. My first ever spray toner, which I really like it. It's really nice. Still got some gunk. Get yeah, when you think. You got it all off. Thank you, baby. It's just very gentle on the skin. That's what I like about her products. You know, it's not heavy products. It's very like, it feels natural. All right, so we got it all set up. And <laughs> it feels good. Yes. This is what self-care Sunday is all about. Surround yourself around people that make you happy. Like, it, life is too short to... Put yourself in miserable predicaments, miserable relationships. Life is too short for that. Your skin will thank you for letting the trash out before 2021 ends. All right. Now that we're nicely steamed, we're going to moisturize with this cream. I don't know how to pronounce that, so. Again, Lori Harvey's skincare line. This is a really good cream. It's like just the perfect amount of amazingness. And it's not drying. It don't leave that like tight effect on your skin. It's like just, it, it smells like oranges. So I know there's vitamin C in it. And it just feels like luxury, honestly. And it's not even an ad. <laughs> I just... If I have a good product, I just want to spread the wealth. The last thing we're going to do before we watch Insecure is the eye cream peptide eye complex from the Lori Harvey skincare line. I honestly don't really. Now, this is an honest review. I, I think. <laughs> This is more in your head that these things work. Maybe because I don't use them consistently. But I can't, I don't really know if the eye creams really make a difference as far as bags in your eye. I'm blessed enough to not have major bags under my eyes. I have just little, little lines and that little indent um, that concealer somewhat covers. But I've been blessed to not have crazy looking under eyes. But at the same time, I really don't know if this eye cream does anything i think i just gotta use it con consistently before i can give y'all a real review because i use it every now and then if i'm being honest but yeah so for the sake of the video i had to put it on for y'all <laughs> Crazy. Decorate. 
says Issa. Y'all, that episode was just like a uh, freaking amazing. Like the levels that she took us through in 40 minutes is just mind blowing to me. The way that we saw how birthdays can not only unite friends and loved ones, but it also is a huge reminder of where you are now versus where you were your last birthday. And it's a perfect way to remind us that we got to give ourselves grace, even when we're not where our friends are, even if we're not where we thought we would be. Give yourself grace because your story is going to have the fairy tale. I don't even like to say fairy tale, but it's going to have the God ordained, you know, how do I say it? It's going to have the God ordained. I want to say an ending, but it's going to literally do everything that you imagined, but just in a different way, if that makes sense. So Issa, you put your hands, feet, toenails, you know, everything into this last episode. I'm just so, I'm in awe. Like I, I'm kind of speechless because I'm in awe. Just seeing Lawrence and Issa just the evolution of, of what they've been over these last five seasons and seeing how it all worked out for them in the end was just amazing. Seeing Molly get married and just live her best life even after such a horrible loss that she experienced. Seeing Tiffany, although she didn't like Denver, still embrace mommyhood and, you know, be one of the longest, strongest marriages of the show. That was amazing. Seeing um kelly uh get pregnant oh that was amazing and yeah it's like everybody was left in good standing but what i will say Issa definitely left me wanting more as far as how it ended with her and lawrence that last scene with her and lawrence like dang i wanted to see more i just was like even if we do just a spinoff with just their relationship that would be amazing like oh I was just so in awe of that. And I cried on the scene with Molly and Issa, you know, while she was getting her out of her wedding dress, pretty much. It just reminded me of my best friend, uh, best friends, and you know who you are. Um, it just reminded me of them and just how much life has taken us through and just how I'm just so grateful that I have them and that I, I can't wait to get married and, and them to be there you know so that was a huge just full circle moment for me because I've dealt with a lot of failed friendships and I ain't gonna lie at first I wanted to see Issa and Molly not make it because I didn't like the way Molly was acting towards Issa but just seeing the evolution of their friendship seeing how forgiveness can really really open up the door to so many amazing possibilities was just uh just amazing y'all like i'm just in awe i don't have a whole lot of words because i'm in awe of just what this episode was um yeah like what an episode what a way to end five years five long years and seasons like it just makes me so excited about living out my 30s about being a mom one day about not rushing my process about knowing that God has me exactly where he wants to have me. And I relate to Issa's character so much because I've been that girl scared of her dream, scared of what God has put over her life. So this show, although it's not fully spiritual, it was just a perfect, you know, way to remind me that God has got me. You know, if I just trust him, he's got me. He's not going to... He's not going to leave me hanging. He's got my back. You know, everything that I, my heart has ever desired, God has me. And that's the best side to be on in this life is on God's side. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I look kind of crazy now, but the skin is still glowing. So that's good. <laughs> 
and I'm about to go to sleep and we are about to enter the last week of 2021. So I will join you guys in another vlog to end the year as well as a recap of what 2021 has been for me. So stay tuned for that video and make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I hope you have a great happy new year and I hope you had a great holiday season. I wish so much prosperity, love, blessings, peace your way in 2022 from your friendly neighbor, your, you know, stranger, bestie, whatever you want to call me. I'm there for you. I love you. I see you. You're amazing. You matter. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you got all the way to the end of this video, thank you for watching. It is the end of December and yeah, it's been a crazy year, y'all, but God has been good. So I love you guys. Bye.